Hey guys, Vanbjorn20 back again. Today we're going to take a look at Cluster Puck 99 on the Nintendo Switch. Now this game is a lot of fun if you play party mode because everyone can actually use a single Joy-Con and you can play with up to 8 players. So if you got a bunch of friends and family, that's where this game really shines. Sadly, I'm by myself right now, so we're going to go to play match. And it's kind of a shame that I don't have a bunch of people to play with so you can actually see how this game really shines. But we're just going to go ahead and uh, join my account on the blue team and show you exactly what this game's all about. So if you're by yourself, you can still play, um, like I'm about to show you. Um, I'm just gonna have a one-on-one -on -one match with the computer. Um, matter of fact, let's make it a little bit interesting. We'll do two on two. You can actually do more than that. So we'll have two computers. We'll put it on very hard, and we'll have one computer for me. So it's gonna be two on two, and they're on the very hardest setting. So I do want to let you know, if you do plan on playing by yourself, sometimes the computers, um, I don't know, the AI isn't the smartest, as you'll see here in a second. So look at all the different courses you can choose from, or different arenas. There's a ton. They get pretty complex, like that. Like, there's no edges, so you can fall off. It makes it really hard. For the purpose of this video, I just want to go through these real quick, just to show you how many different um, courses you have here, or different arenas. Um, let's just go ahead and do a simple back-to-back -back one. This is a really simple one. And you can choose time, like, you know, if you want to play for 5 minutes, 10 minutes, whatever. Um, I like to play by score, so whoever scores, like, the mo you know, 5 is going to win, or 10, or whatever. I normally select 7, kind of like you're playing air hockey. That's what I like to play. And that's pretty much what this game is. It's like air hockey, but a little different. Um, all you do is use the joystick to, uh, you know, move around, and then one button will, uh, you know, you know, hit the person. It's a pretty like one button controls. It's pretty easy. As you can see, I'm the one that has VB labeled. All the all the rest are computers, and we're just trying to get the puck. And the object is the score. So as you can see, they're fighting over the puck right now. I will say the AI um, is doing much better than they than they were. The AI was completely broken in this game, and it looks like they maybe fixed it because they're actually trying to hit me right now. And it's actually they're actually putting up a fight, which is good to see because it was broken um, when this game first got released, which is why I didn't really want to make a video on it because the single player mode was pretty broken. As you can see, there we go, slam dunk. So there you go. Looks like I uh, I scored. I'm gonna try to actually play a full game in this video, um, just to show you guys what it's like to see if the just to see if the computers are really fixed or not. Is my guy gonna score for me? Oh, you had an open shot. They're definitely fighting it out. There we go. We got a noopsies. They accidentally scored for me. So there we go. Two to zero. So you can only imagine if you're playing with eight people, if you're playing just with eight people and they're friends and family, there would be a lot of people hating each other because everyone would be banging into each other trying to score. It's a very simple game, but I'll be honest, I'm having a lot of fun. When I play this game with my wife and daughter, we have a lot of fun, but it's kind of uneven. You know, there's three, so we have like two on one matches, or you can throw a computer in. But if you have, if you can play with eight players, it would be, it would be really good. All right, let's see. So, are they gonna score or what? Oh, they had an open shot. Oh, they scored. So it looks like they probably fixed it. Um, this game was the the single player mode was kind of broken when it first got released. Um, which is why when I did get a review copy of this game, I did not want to make a video on it. Um, because they said they were gonna release an update to fix it. And it looks like they did. It looks like it is finally fixed. So I decided now I can feature it in a video because I didn't really want to show it in its broken form. Is he going to score for me? Come on, you had an open shot, buddy. There you go. There we go. Yeah, it's really fixed. The the AIs are actually kind of kind of smart now. I'm very impressed. Like I said, that was not the case. <laughs> that was not the case not that long ago. It's good to see it's finally fixed. I really wish this game had online to where you can play with your friends online. Um, I think this would have really made this game an instant buy. Like an instant buy. Um, I mean, if you're by yourself and you don't have a lot of friends and family to play with, I can't recommend this game because you can pretty much do what I'm doing here. And it's fun, but it does, the novelty really does wear off. And it's not, it, you know, it's not as fun as it, <laughs> as it is when you first play the first five minutes. But if you're playing with friends and family, like eight people, not even eight, if you just have four, if you're playing two on two, it's a lot of fun. A lot of laughs are to be had in this game. So I, I can recommend it. If you have at least four people in your household, I say go ahead, pick up this game. Um, it's very fun. But if you're by yourself, you're a single guy, you're by yourself, I'd have to say pass on this. But if you got some friends and family in the house, it's a definitely pick up. 
that's pretty much off right now guys don't want to make this video too long hopefully this video was helpful and there'll be more to come shortly guys thanks again